third round of the UIM Moto Surf World Championship headed from Mexico all the way over the ocean to Europe, to the beautiful coast of the Puglia region in Italy, where the event was hosted by Rodi Garganico Marina. Italy welcomed an unbelievable number of 16 countries and 103 racers from four different continents. In the open class, season current leader Jakob Kornfeil was hoping to extend the championship lead and make a step closer towards his title. However, the qualifying played in favor of Lukas Zahorski, who posted the fastest qualifying lap time from Jakob Kornfeil and Marek Skamla. Hello, Jakub Korfeld, 29 years old, from uh, Czech Republic, racing in uh, open category for MSR engine uh, racing team. Well, the race weekend uh, was really complicated, uh, not only for me, for everyone, because of the conditions. But finally we made it, but uh, this, this race weekend for me was uh, the nightmare, even worse than the nightmare. What could go uh, wrong, possibly, uh, everything went wrong, so... <laughs> I lost uh, a lot of points in the heat, heat one, then in the second heat my, my board uh, was taking so much water, so uh, again uh, I was more swimming than riding, so I, I had uh, just a few points from the heat and, and then finally for the finals I went from the sixth position and then in the finals, first final, uh, where went uh, horribly wrong again, uh, so I finished last. I gained only three points, so Zahorski made uh, 51 points only in the first uh, final to me. And then in the second final, finally it was working, but uh, I couldn't ride uh, with the spoiler, with the intake, uh, because uh, we couldn't put it into the board. So then it was very, very tricky for me. The, the board was not stable in the waves behind the guys, and uh, I finally finished uh, fifth in the in the second final, so everything was uh, just going so wrong for me. I lost a lot of uh, points and uh, also I lost the uh, championship lead. So, so uh, of course I am unhappy. Uh, this is not normal what, uh, what was going uh, wrong <laughs> this weekend, but we still have one race to go and uh, we have to come stronger and more prepared for the race in Zara, for the final race of the season. The stock class was dominated by stock class contenders. Re Merrills from Great Britain stole the pole position, Korean Down Kim finished second, and Mexican Top Gun Aritan Iboli completed the top three. Hi, I'm Rui Merrills. I'm racing in the third leg of the World Cup in beautiful Italy representing the United Kingdom and racing for X-Surf Racing UK. Uh, we got here yesterday and started with uh, track practice and qualification, which was good. Uh, the weather was beautiful until a bit later on, it got a bit rough, so qualification was quite hard. Um, we uh, had qualification, I did quite well in qualification. Everyone had a really tough time. And um, yeah, today we had the heat. I only managed two heats today instead of three just because of the weather conditions. As you can see, it's quite rough. The wind's got up a bit, um, which the weather can do. So uh, we've got to try and uh, sort it out, ready for tomorrow, ready for the finals. The stock category in this race is particularly large. Uh, I think there's something like 40, 40 odd riders uh, with the rookies in as well. Uh, lots of very good riders and everyone's on the same board. so. It's purely down to the rider's ability, which is great. But the, uh, the, the main competition for me at the moment is guys like Kim Down, the Korean. He's a very, very fast guy, very solid rider. Um, there's another Czech rider. I can't remember his name. He's doing really, really well. And Ayrton, riding really solid. Uh, we're trying to, uh, I'm trying to keep them, keep them at the back, but I had, uh, had a bit of difficulty in my second heat because of the weather and uh, fell a few times. I managed fourth place, um, but not quite as good as Kim Down. He managed to get first, so that was a bit annoying, but we'll see what tomorrow brings and uh, go from there. I think it's, uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful location. Uh, it's a shame it's a bit windy and rough, but here is uh, very, very nice. It's uh, very well organized. Everyone's here. Um, yeah, lots of people, lots of, um, 
Uh, lots of good competition, really good to race with other riders, all of a similar sort of level and standard, and also mix it up a bit with the conditions. Hello, my name is Daun Kim from South Korea. I'm a defending champion in, uh, from the Mexico uh, GP, so I'm come here to defend my champion, but uh, maybe it is not easy to make it. This is Rodi Garganico. It's a really uh, peaceful place and a really lovely place, so uh, it makes me happy before doing our race. It already uh, it makes it already makes me happy. Many people are told about that maybe uh, the waves and the the weather is uh, like um, uh, really hard. So it is not easy to do my ability, but it is a game. So I just uh, I just uh, having fun. Every time someone's always fall down and fall down, fall down, and I also fall down several times. But I did, uh, in HIT2, I got the first place. It was amazing because uh, it is all about luck. Luck for uh, weather, uh, luck for the waves. <laughs> I always train by myself. Uh, there's no one to train with me. So that is my disadvantage. So um, actually the other guys are usually train with other people but in korea uh, there are not, not too many uh, riders in korea so it is not easy to uh, train with other guys but so that is why i'm just staying here i'm I, my uh, riding level is just just staying here but other is gonna be go further so i should i should find someone who who can train with me in Korea. Uh, in this race, uh, Lukas Jelski was amazing. So I filmed all of his track, track race. So I am going to study. I'm going to study how he can do make a back turn or in front turn. So I'm going to practice for that. The stock R class was dominated by Alex Luxider, while his sister Linda surprised the field and topped the time session in women's class from U Jin Lee from Korea and Sadar Wolfova from the Czech Republic. My name is An Jin Lee and I'm much older than you would think. I'm 34 years old. Actually, today's my birthday, so I'm 35 now. I'm from South Korea and I'm racing in the women's category. We're here in Italy and we were so excited to come to Italy for a race, but the weather was a very, very big surprise. Not a nice surprise, uh, but a fun experience. Um, but as you know, the, it's been very, very wavy. It's been very, very windy. The waves have been as tall as my height. So I think all the racers that are here this weekend, they are survivors. So the women's category, there are women that are such good riders that have been so good for so long. And uh, you know, when I first started, I tried so hard to like try to ride like them, but they have their secrets, we don't know. So we decided in Korea that we should all, all the racers, we should have our own secret of sorts. So every time I practice, I just uh, try to find that confidence because if I don't have the confidence in myself, then when I come to a big race like this, a world championship, yes, it is very, very intimidating and a little bit scary, but of course that makes it that much more exciting. After the good qualifying results, I can't express in words how I felt. I was shocked, I was excited, I was happy. It felt like, you know, this is, it was like the weather saying, I'm giving you one chance, make it count. And uh, I think uh, I'm doing my best to not lose this great opportunity. I just want to say jet surf, the sport itself, all the races, it's exciting, it's thrilling. If you've never tried it, you've got to try it. It's been a life-changing experience for me. Unfortunately, the junior session was cancelled due to weather conditions, and so the youth talent started based on the championship standings. The same format was applied for the electric challenge. In the heats, Lukas Sohorski finished on top in his group. The other group of open class were very unlucky for weather conditions, 
but Race Direction continued in racing for the premier class of the Motosurf World Championship. Super wavy conditions brought an absolutely stunning performance by Slovakia's Marek Škamla, who dominated the session. Daniel Pravaznik finished second, and Kim Min Seong from Korea scored a respectable third place finish. In the finals, Lukas Sohorsky scored first and second for the overall victory. Marek Škamla was unlucky in the first final, but managed to steal the victory in the second shootout for the overall second place finish. Dominic Kadlec from the Czech Republic completed the top three with two and four. Hello all, my name is Lukas Zahorsky. I'm four times world champion. I'm racing in open class this year for Jetsa Factory and I'm 21 years old. Yeah, so basically the race in Italy was a, a one big chaos because we had a, a pretty hard situation in the world championship standings as I messed up the first two races, so I had to really push this race so I could be able to fight for a championship again, so I need to really win this race. Uh, during the heats, uh, it was a very interesting race because we got a really tough weather, it was so windy and so wavy that all of the, all of the riders were making small mistakes and thus a real talent came out and it was, a, it was very interesting to watch and all the results were really mixed, especially in women class. Uh, it was really crazy. In our class it was pretty standard, but still there were some surprising results. And as we went to the finals, I knew I had to push and I pushed the first final. I won it. In the second I made a small mistake, which cost me a, another victory, so I finished third. Uh, totally, uh, it's number one, I'm really happy. Uh, my biggest opponent, Jacob Corfile, had a really bad luck this weekend. So thanks to that, for me, I was able to catch him up in the championship and I'm back in a game fighting for the victory this year. I think there's uh, nothing very really special that I could do right now. I just need to come there physically and mentally strong so I could be able to fight with the Jacob for the first place because uh, yeah, we're really neck to neck right now. So it's all gonna be decided over there. I'm really grateful for everybody on this race, for my team, my family, my girlfriend, my sponsor who supported me during this race. And I just hope that I can make them proud in Croatia in Zadar. In the stock class, spectators witnessed a very strong performance by Jakub Kozon, who controlled the weekend. Timotej Zubor from Slovakia made it to the podium for the first time in his career with second place. Jan Travnicek from the Czech Republic marked a successful debut with third. This time, the title contenders stayed behind the podium. Down Kim finished fourth, Aritani Boli fifth, Hassan Boabas seventh, and Nurui Meros in ninth spot. The title chase will then move to the very last round of the championship in Zadar, Croatia. Hi, my name is Ayrton Evoli. I'm from Mexico. I'm a jet surf rider for Category Stock and I'm participating this week in Italy. So this weekend was amazing. Thank you a lot for Italy. This week was an amazing race. The venue was awesome. Thanks for the city. They had amazing places. The events at the afternoon, they were amazing. The events at the evening, they were even better. So thanks for the people here in town that welcome us, all the riders here. Uh, this was a great weekend and that was thanks to you. The racetrack was amazing. Uh, I think the, the conditions were a little bit rough, but that was very fun. It, it made it interesting. So all the categories out there were fighting, different, uh, different riders won. And I think that's always interesting to watch. So this weekend I had good results. I think I'll manage to get a, a couple of good points. I was second after the first final, I messed up in my second final, but still managed to get a, de a decent result. I'll be fighting back and training very hard to get back in Croatia. Hopefully I'll be able to get the first place for the World Championship this year. That's my goal and I'll be fighting for it. So for all of you out there watching, make sure to go to Croatia, follow us on Instagram, follow us to make sure you don't miss anything about these races. This is getting very intense. The ending of the season is coming very soon and a lot of riders have the chance to get that first place. I'll be fighting for it, but I hope you can follow us or come and join us in Croatia. Make sure you don't miss it and stay tuned because we're coming back. Thank you for my family and all my friends back home. I know you're supporting me from far away. I come all the way here from Mexico, so it's a long travel when I know you're supporting me from the other side of the world. So thanks for everyone. Thanks for everyone that supports me around the world. I'll be fighting for you and hopefully we can get that first place. Let's go! My name is Hassan Babbas. I am from Kuwait. I joined in uh, stock category and I uh, finished with five. 
Uh, the race in Italy is uh, amazing. Uh, uh, yesterday I do better because the waves it uh, helped me. Today in the final, a uh, little bit it, uh, flat water and the rider uh, do the best. Uh, the most difficult uh, things is uh, the rider, the new rider, they come from open category and uh, they got a good style. Yeah. The difficult with the track, it's uh, all about the technical and I prefer the open track to go full gas. It's hard for me. I have something good in Zadar because I learned some experience in this three race I joined it and this is my first year on Motorsurf World Cup and the last one will be good. My dream is to build a good team from my country and uh, show the good, uh, the good face of the country. Uh, we have a Jet Surf Kuwait Academy in Kuwait. Uh, we have a good riders like me. We coaching the new riders and we have a track. We go together at uh, same times at uh, same boys. Yeah. I like to uh, come more riders in this sport because it's uh, amazing and uh, it gives you more adrenaline that you imagine and uh, all riders uh, push others. When you see a good rider, you, you want to be gooder than him. Alex Lucider managed to grab victory from Matthias Novotny and Damian Kadletz who managed to grab the World Championship trophy. In the women's class, Aneta Sekerova showed pure dominance in the finals and extended her championship lead, while Aneta Stolkalova didn't even make it to the finals. Eli Karosova enjoyed a super strong weekend and second and fourth brought her second place overall. A consistent ride by Lucia Kafkova brought her third to score the first MSWC podium. Hi, my name is Aneta Sekerova. I am from Matech Racing and I race in women's category. Uh, this race, I finished on 14th position in qualification. It was the first time for me to be on uh, this place. So I started in heat in a second row. It was a really good experience for me. Uh, it was something different. Uh, I cannot say difficult because I really enjoyed it and uh, I learned a lot. Unfortunately, my two competitors, Eliška and Anetka, they weren't in the last finals, the main finals. So for me, the final wasn't difficult, but I really enjoyed it. I still pushed really hard and I finished first. So this track weren't uh, difficult, but uh, the waves came and for us it was really, really hard to stand on the board. I think a lot of riders had problems. Uh, but my goal was to go really slowly, be careful, watch all the waves. And it was good part for me to be in front of the other girls. I am looking forward for a last race in Croatia. I would like to invite you to go there because this place is amazing. And also this race will be my last and this is, will be the last race and last season of my whole career. So I would like to invite a good girls to come here to beat uh, the other girls and uh, feel how good is this sport. I would like to say uh, thanks to my sponsors and mostly to my family, to my father and my mom because they are uh, with me for a whole season. We were in Mexico, we are here in Italy, and we will be together in Zadar. In the juniors class, Oliver Navarra scored another victory under his belt. Ramadan Fares, a newcomer from Kuwait, stepped up on the second place after the finals. Sebastian Kosletsky closed the top three. Yanton Vacharasik from Thailand finished just behind the podium in fourth. I am Vachra Sakjanton. I am from Thailand, 14 years old, and I played in the juniors category. The race in Italy was very good, but I did not get on the podium, but it was very fun to play with the other players. 
Uh, in Thailand, I am used to waves because we practice in the ocean a lot. But uh, in heat too, we didn't get to go in because of the harsh weather. I had a problem with my, my board. The, the shoe was broken, the strap was broken. So it was really hard finishing the round. I really liked the racetrack. It was not too hard, but it was really fun. Uh, I would like to thank my friends and family to, to support me. In the juniors girls, Mariana Novarova equaled the victory of her brother. Two Slovakians, Zara Kubinsova and Emma Strutsulova, finished second and third respectively. Hello, my name is Sara Zuborova. I'm from Slovakia. Uh, I'm 11 years old and I'm racing uh, junior. This is my first season. I like this sport because it's adrenaline. My brother racing first and I like it. I have friends in Luchenets and I'm going to training together and I am sometimes uh, go to the gym. Here in Italy, I like it, especially the track. It's great here and I, and I have so many friends here. In the electric challenge, reigning world champion Mikol Skocek returned to the top step. Matej Kosicek concluded the weekend in second, while French racer Julian Ranaud scored his premier podium. The next round of the championship, the big final in Zadar, Croatia, is happening in three weeks' time.